Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, and today I want to attempt to answer a question, uh, and I'm going to try to answer this without my own power lifter bias. I'm going to try to answer this purely as a strength coach. Can the bench press be replaced with the dip? Uh, because I get asked that a lot because they work such similar muscles and everything else, and I need to be very careful in how I word this because... I want to make it very, very clear that I think the dip and the weighted dip is a phenomenal supplemental exercise for people who are structurally built for doing them. But because we are talking about overall strength, not just metabolic fatigue and hypertrophy, um, and because I believe particularly for drug-free lifters, there's an important strength component to your size gains. And of course, I would answer with the bias fact that this is a strength and fitness channel. So anyone who doesn't want to get strong, whether their their reasons for getting strong vary tremendously from person to person. But if if they don't want to get strong, I don't know why they're here. So there will be bias in regard to that. But we come over to the point. It's a phenomenal supplemental lift, but I don't think you can do significant amounts of max strength on it safely. In other words, it's not really well suited to maximum effort work. And I would make the argument that very large volumes of training with very high reps, I don't know that the flat barbell bench press is particularly suited for doing the very high volumes of training. So we kind of come down to the point of what exactly are we using these tools for because they're different tools with different roles. I don't know that they're interchangeable like that. I don't believe that they are. And here's what I mean. For me, I think of generally a barbell bench press or any close variation, because I'm doing it with a buffalo bar there. Uh, the times you'll see me doing speed bench. Uh, I do football bar, things like that. I have a lot of different tools available that I classify as a bench press. These are bio biomechanically and bar path and shoulder movement pattern, very different exercises, even though they're still a bench press for the chest. You have a lot of tools available there. But I generally think of most of those as exercises that we either do with very, very heavy weight. Right? We do them with heavy weight for maximum strength, or we do them, say, in a dynamic manner, such as my speed bench here. And when we look at the, the mechanics of it, I think it becomes very obvious that if we're going to do dynamic effort work, would you really want to do that with a dip? Even if you watch the, the mechanics involved of trying to go fast, and some of these are slower than they need to be, uh, I'm aware that some of my speed bench in this particular video are not as fast as I'd like them. Uh, I'm working with some different programming on it right now. But the point is, would you really want to do speed work with dips with no safety in place, meaning there's no hard stop to a safe position? In other words, on a barbell bench press, you can create an amount of arch and a touch point on your chest to where you're in a safe shoulder position. You can let it drop quickly. You can use bands and create an overspeed eccentric and reverse it off the chest and all that stuff, right? We can create a very, very explosive movement that is very safe for the chest for doing dynamic work. That's safe for the chest in terms of pec tear, safe for the shoulders in terms of a shoulder injury, right? Because we have a specific stop in place to limit the range of motion. And it's also more stable because we can dig ourselves in super tight, can grip it somewhat wide. We can set our feet in such a manner that cre we create a large amount of core stability through the whole body. That allows us to train more ballistically and more dynamically with minimal risk to the shoulder. We can't do that so much with a dip, can we? Mm -mm. Right? Barbell reigns supreme here. Barbell reigns supreme. So if we're going to do any sort of ballistic or explosive or dynamic work, uh, barbell has an enormous advantage in terms of safety. And we need to be doing these things, right? If we're trying to maximize all performance elements as athletes, well, we do need some dynamic work. All right, that's critical. All right, what about when we're lifting for maximum weights, really heavy weights? Well, the barbell, same thing. It's well suited to that. Now, people, a lot of people feel that maxing on a barbell bench press is dangerous. You guys just saw me max with a buffalo bar, right? Saw me max with a buffalo bar. It's not dangerous. If you have the movement pattern down and you've built the appropriate support musculature, 
It's actually safer than a dip. As far as any sort of chest press goes, if we wanted to train to lift maximum weight, other than some overhead stuff, there's nothing really safer than, than a barbell. For the same reason, we can set safeties in place. We have a bar. We can arch in such a way to where we create a range of motion that limits how far we can go down if we miss a really heavy weight with a maximum weight. All right? We can inherently protect our shoulders. We can control the amount of, of internal rotation that happens there. We can set our range of motion. We can protect the shoulders when we do a really heavy maximum weight. Well, if you want to develop maximum strength, you have to lift maximum weights. You have to go above 90% of your wonder at max. You have to to develop maximum strength. Conversely, let's come over and talk about metabolic fatigue. Let's talk about conditioning. If we're looking at things like general physical preparedness, barbell bench press might not be as good as a weighted dip, right? Or even a body weight dip. If you wanted to do a bunch of GPP work, it's a lot easier to just grab some dipping bars and work dips into a rotation. As far as general physical preparedness, it's easy to set up, do a bunch of them. Because it lets you get fairly deep on the chest, you don't need the specialty bar to get a myotatic reflex in the chest. Right, that's a big advantage of the dip. What's the dip really good at? Getting that stretch reflex at the bottom. With a, with a bench press to get that stretch reflex, a lot of times we have to use that buffalo bar with a bend in it. We've got to go to bands, right? If we want to get a stretch reflex, we need that stuff. Dip will let us get it with just body weight. Right? What about core involvement, abdominal involvement? Well, because we don't set up everything as tight, Bench press is a better full body exercise because we can use leg drive. We can set our legs and we can dig all that stuff in. We can use leg, legs and hip, all of that. Right? It lends itself very well to, to maximum strength and power. The way to dip if we're just trying to develop stabilizers through the body, because it has to stabilize the body, you get more core involvement, but you can't get leg drive and hip and all that. Get a stretch reflex really good exercise. It's a really good exercise if we want to do a lot of volume. Because that's the, one of the downsides we run into with the bench press. Sometimes the bench press, due to the nature of the way that we perform it for maximum power, isn't always an ideal high volume exercise, is it? Like if you wanted to come in and do 10 sets of 10, sure you can do it with the bench press. You could. But we lose some of the technical aspect of the leg drive and all this other stuff that we get with it. Weighted dip will bring some other muscles into play. So if we're doing large volumes, like something like 10 sets of 10, like 100 reps in a workout, a dip brings a lot to the table. It brings a lot of extra stabilizers to the table. It gives a stretch reflex on the chest. More abdominal. Arguably, more tricep. Right, depending on how you do it because it hits more heads of the tricep than the, than the bench. It doesn't focus as much on that medial head like the bench does, and it kind of hits all the tricep. Dips are really a good secondary exercise. Like if we have exercises that we're not worried about developing maximum strength on, or we're not develop, developing dynamic explosiveness, because again, the dip is, is a high injury risk exercise for those. You want to hit a one rep max on a dip? I think it's dangerous. You want to do ballistic dips? I think that's dangerous. You really risk shoulder injury. Really high risk. But if you want to crank out a bunch of reps safely and kind of just do a nice big almost squat for your upper body, dips work really well. In fact, I think for that purpose, they're arguably better than the bench press. So my question becomes replace it for what? is a primary exercise, and I don't mean primary as people say, oh, you're just saying that because it's a power, no. No, a primary exercise is an exercise that you can train for maximum strength, that you can do heavy singles on, right? That's part of maximum strength. Barbell's way better for that. Dip is probably just a better general physical preparedness and potentially a hypertrophy volume exercise, right? I think that's where it shines. 
And it's good at it. It's, it's a good exercise for that. I'd say it's one of the better ones. So we come over to this question of, can the dip replace the bench press? And I'm like, no. No, I don't think that it can. Bench press is a very, very versatile tool, especially when we start getting into specialty bars and chains and bands. We, we have a lot of versatility for multi-rolls. But the dip for just overall volume and conditioning, probably better for that. I think they're both valuable. I don't think you should be thinking in terms of changing one in or out for the other. They each have their own valuable role and they're each a better tool for specific things in your training. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.